Hi YouTube, all oh, people of the interwebs, and this is Rapture25, and this is my Sunday vlog or review of Transformers Prime. Robot, uh, Transformers Prime, loose cannon. Even though it's a Wednesday, yeah, I've lost dates. Now oh, clocks went forward. <laughs> but look what I've got, I've got a ratchet. Robots in this guy's ratchet. Ooh, look at that beautiful. Oh, he's just so beautiful. A little bit of paint apps on the back would have been nice. Oh, but not only that, I've got the sound wave. Yeah, yes, the sound wave. Oh, yes, he's a beautiful. Very beautiful. Mm. And the main guy of the evening is Wheeljack! Ha ha ha! Yes! A Wheeljack! <laughs> it is so sunny for the last couple of days. I'm back in work and I was just too tired. And my wife's ill and just took my son to nursery. Sorry. Itchy nose. Right, episode today I'm going to talk about is Loose Cannon. Basically, Loose Cannon is basically carry on from the episode Con Job, what we saw in the last. Uh, as Will Jack departed, he said that he's going to search the galaxy for more wreckers. And yeah, it turns out he found a record wrecker. Uh, it was sea spray, and but he ends up dying. Yeah, <laughs> by a Decepticon called um, Dreadwing. Basically, going back to the old Master Force. Uh, when. Yeah, dread wind. Yeah, dread wing was actually hyper, or was it? Yeah, it was Hydra. Buster was death wing. Oh, well, it might be. Yeah, it's one or the other. So, but the good thing about dread wing is you got the ideas of repaints, and I'm not a big fan on repaints sometimes. Um, unless now we're getting the idea of why they are repaints. Um, Dreadwing and Skyquake were you no know, brothers sharing the spa same spark. Basically, going back to Beast Wars um, Series 3 or Series 2.3, whatever you want to call it, when. Megatron took the Arthur Spark of Rampage from and put it into Dinobot 2. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so now we're getting repaints, and the good thing is, it's getting repaints where we can actually relate to. Sorry. Getting repaints why we get re. Reason why there is repaints. Uh, yeah, and see that um, and he looks like he's going to be a prominent character now uh, yeah so Will Jack is looking for revenge he comes lands on earth because Dreadwing is out to find his former master and revenge his twin brother Skyquake um so basically he starts going on how Prime's a coward and all that like that the commanders and chiefs will always run away from a battle it turns out that Prime's proven his worth in Will Jack's eyes to thingy say Bulkhead and Bulkhead gets Kidnapped by Dreadwing. 
when um dread one uh, gets kidnapped by dead dread one and got set up with the same device that killed off sea spray so turned out when Jackie mentions sea or uh, wheeljack mentions sea spray turns bulkhead turns around and says how's that old salty sea dog so basically in it's it feels a bit rushed this episode but it's not because you've got to think the first three episodes were the first episode was a three parter then the second episode was a two parter now we have to just get these single episodes coming out and I like them. I like these single episodes. There's not a lot of inform. There's a lot of information in some of these in single episodes than these big long ones. Yeah. So if um, if we are going to get more, it does look like we are going to get more characters coming in and. The thing is, with the toys, like this is fucking beautiful, and same with this. These two are beautiful. This is beautiful as well, even though it looks like a lollipop. Yes. But that, I can understand, basically. Basically, it might have a little bit of robot kibble on in there, but yeah. It's, Transform the toy, what are you gonna do? <coughs> um, but at the end of the day, um, the characters that I've seen pictures of um, Breakdown and Knockout, the toys, and they're going to be coming out, and um, Dreadwing's going to come out. And I've just read on TF Source and Full Metal Hero that the Skyquake toy is getting cancelled, but the still bringing the toy out as Dreadwind. Why? You could do both. Just do a repaint on both of the toys. But the thing is, this. Arachnid and um, Insecticon because in promo shows that in an Insecticon is in on on Earth and basically I think in this series the Transformers are going to get discovered out no public to the world and basically this is going to be. I'm really I've got really high hopes for this series, and I have not been let down so far. First season was fantastic. Um, they brought some characters. We're meant to be getting a remod of the Bumblebee and calling it Hotshot the toy. Uh, the Vircon revealer looks beautiful. I've seen pictures of it and it looks absolutely gorgeous. The only problem is I've got with the Vircon is they're only bringing the car out, not the airplane. I think they should actually bring out the plane as well because I'm going to buy two of them Vircons and because I've got the um, first edition Vircon. And that's on my um, shelf. And also, that's not also I'm going to do now. That's my review over of um, the Transformers Prime episode. But now, um, getting to know a Transformer fan, I thought I was going to do it. Um, after my um, 
Operation Bumblebee. Two days came, three, three or four days it came out after my Operation Bumblebee review. And uh, I'm not that famous on YouTube, but I am friends with Carl Prime on Facebook. And I am friends with Simon Ski on famous, but but I'm also friends with Ray. Um, I'm a I love mess and all that lot. Um, Dave Smudge, no, uh, MSM number one, basically. Question one. Um, basically, I'm not going to do them in any order. I'm just going to do them in the in order that I see fit. Question one: How long have I been a Transformer fan? Well, I'm 27. When I was born, Transformers would have just come out. Um, so, but when I was five, Transformers the first season series generation one series was being repeated as generation two so generation two was actually my first love of transformers um so yeah 1990 the 1990s very early 90s when i started to realize that i like toys question two what was my um First, nerdy love. Well, like I say, 1990, 1990 was the big era for nerds, for people to become nerds, um, because you had, God forbid, Mask Rider, you had Beetleborgs, you had Power Rangers, you had... Transformers being repeated, you had Thundercats being repeated, um, you had G.I. Joe being repeated, basically, they're just repeating everything from the 80s in the 90s to get people. But if I had to say my very first nerdy nerd love would actually be the Power Rangers. Because if I remember, um, Power Rangers was the very first thing that came to my mind that I wanted to get. Then the G2 came out just a couple of months afterwards, so it was actually Power Rangers. Sorry about that. Question 3. What's the origin of my YouTube name? Well, my YouTube name is Raptor at 25. The 25 is easy because I was 25 years old when I started this YouTube channel. Um, I was just coming on to 26, but I started in February. So 25 is the origin of the 25. Um, the Rat Trap goes off my favourite version of Rat Trap, and that's Beast Machines Rat Trap. I loved what they did with Beast Wars Rat Trap, but he was just two dimensional. That, but when Beast Machines came out and revamped him to being this no hot headed, cocky, cocky explosion expert that always need, needs his weapons to get along in his life, and he only feels safe with a weapon by himself. Then he loses his weapon and his abilities to use his weapon, lose his weapons. But he has the same knowledge how to make his weapons. So he had to rediscover himself. That's where my YouTube name comes from. Question four. What do I do outside of YouTube? I mean... Transformers. Well, I work at Asda. For people in America, that is Walmart. If anyone watches my um, YouTube videos in America, yes. I know one person does, and that's V Decepticon. Uh, he's great. Check him out. 
if you most people are is subscribers that are my subscribers. Um, um, I work at Asda. I'm a trolley pusher. I collect trolleys and I clean. Um, question five. What are my hobbies other than Transformers? Well, I like to clean. I like to cook. I like to watch YouTube at my other, other time. Watch everyone's. Everyone that I subscribe to, I do watch their videos. It does take time, and I do take time to watch them. If I haven't got something to... I will not say anything bad about anyone's uh, videos. I will never say anything like that. Um, the if I have something to say, it will always be a good thing. I will never say anything bad about anyone's videos because there's not bad. Because I think people who get up and do a video on camera to the world and willing to put themselves on show they've got a lot of guts people people have got a lot of guts doing that um, I cook a clean I like to read because I'm dyslexic and I like to practice on my handwriting because I am got bad handwriting plus I've got a little boy who is two, two and a half and my wife and I like to work around them um, Pulse, I always watch Highlander the TV series um, all that lot. question six who do I watch on YouTube well people who subscribe to me and people I subscribe to, I do watch. Like, you got your usuals, you got your Ve Vega Death, you got your Kill L Primes, you got your Silver Bolt, you got your Wash Shop 23, Wash Shop 23, you got your MSM number one, you got your Hell in the Melon, you got your Time Lords, you got your V Decepticons. D and you got your collector twenty seventy five and you got um Chief eight eight eight. But yeah, I watch them also I watch TF Nolsey. I watch um uh Sam Sammy Ski, um uh I watch I watch. I'm trying to think of your names. It there's a lot of them. I watch everything. I watch Autobotomus. I watch Sean Long. I watch um, Shutters Prime. Sammy Sadek. Yes. Is it Sammy Sadek? I watch School Grim One for All. Um, I uh, watch, basically I watch everything, uh, I watch everyone, honestly, I do watch em everyone, but if I had to pick a favourite, it would actually be TF Nolsey, he's my favourite next to Time Lord and MSN number one. And Ray, I love mess. I love, I, I love mess. I can't pronounce that. I'm very good F. And the 58EG. I watch, I just watch them all because I love them. Um, I love, I love everything on YouTube. Um, question seven. What is my holy grail? Well, my holy grail 
believe it or not, this is silly and this is probably a kind of attention seeking, but it's not. My Holy Grail in Transformers is you guys, the community that watches my videos and takes the time to watch my videos. And my friends that I've made it last year from Auto Assembly. So many people at Auto Assembly were so kind to me. Dead than they ever been in my life. So the people, it's the Transformer community. The people that I make as friends, as Transformers fans, and I can get into it. A conversation about Transformers that's my holy grail the friends that I make join along the way of being a Transformer fan but if it was toys I will have to say my first edition bulkhead sorry but bulkhead is the first edition bulkhead is hard to get hold of I got it for 40 quid Postage free with an Optimus Prime, four Optimus Primes for a hundred quid, and I'd give them away, competition them away. Um, yeah, so. Question eight. <coughs> um, what's my favourite pieces? Piece of fitch Transformers fiction in comic books. Um, I'm actually just getting into reading comic books at the moment. But if it's comic books, I'd be the be the actually would be the last stand of the records or the drift origins, even though he's a 2D character. I do like the story a lot, um, but if it's a TV show, I have to say Beast Wars. Brilliant piece of writing, brilliant. Everything question. Everything was perfect. Was that everything? There's um, not a year that I go by where I I do not watch. Transformers Beast Wars from beginning to the end. I do watch that all the time. Question 9. If I was a Transformer, what would I transform into? Me, I would transform into... Well, if I could transform into anything, I would transform either into... I would actually transform into the... If it was a Transformer, it would actually be the bulkhead from Prime. Because I love Prime bulkhead. I love him. He's just... Brilliant. I love his writing. I love what they've done with him. Question 10. Is whereabouts do I live? I was born in Manchester in a town called Ashton. And Ashton is very very full of scallies and chavs and all that lot and they've got very awful accents but me I, my family comes from Yorkshire so I live in Ashton my, and my wife is from Czech Republic so so basically my family's got a lot of um, mixed races in um, um, so that's my Transformers Prime review of Loose Cannon and my introduction and piece to the uh, 
Um, Transformers. Ten, ten questions of getting to know Transformers. The reboot. So, I hope you enjoyed this um, video. Uh, please comment. Please subscribe. Um, please say anything. You can even call me a bastard or lucky get for getting all the. Basically, I've got all the one of each Transformer from the Prime now, set for the um, tr the breakdown and this guy quite called Dreadwing and Hotshot and Breakdown. But I would like to see an Arachnid and Insecticon toy coming out. Um, so. This is Raptor at 25 signing off. Have a good day. Be good to each other and peace out.